Hi everyone, today we're going to work on finding multipliers, percentage increase and decrease practice. So this is a video about finding how you increase a number or decrease a number by a percentage. Let's get into it. So what does it mean to find a multiplier? Well, finding a multiplier is simply adding or taking away from 100%. And so if you wanted to add 15% to 100%, you would have to actually equate it to 115%. And 115% is 1.15. So when you, when you wanna add 15% to a number, you multiply by 1.15. And if you want to decrease a number by 15%, you multiply by 0 0.85. So similarly, if you wanted to increase a number by 12%, you should multiply it by 1.12. And if you, if you think about 100 minus 12, that's 88. You should multiply a number by 0 0.88 to decrease it by 12%. So I've set up a few questions here for you to try. And so if you see the questions, it says, to find 50%, you can multiply by. So why don't you go ahead and pause the video and try these questions now? Okay, so I hope you didn't find these questions too challenging. Let's do them together. So for the first question, to find 50%, you should multiply by 0 0.5. To find 25%, you should multiply a number by 0 0.25. To find 12%, you can multiply a number by 0 0.12. So if you've done this correctly, that's amazing. Now to increase by 50%, remember what we said about multipliers first, you need to add that to one. So for that one, it should be 1.5 or 1.50, but we don't need to say the zero. To increase by 90%, it should be 1.9. Very good if you found that one. And a little trick question here, to increase by 5%, be careful because five divided by 100 is 0 0.05, so it should actually be 1.05. So very good if you found that one, that was the hardest question. And then to increase by 12%, you should multiply by 1.12, which is something that we covered in the example earlier. Now, for these questions, you need to look at decrease. So again, I recommend you pause the video and you do the questions now. Okay, so I hope these were not too difficult and you found those okay. So for the first one, to decrease by 25%, that means 75% remains. For the second question, to decrease by 18%, that means you're left with 82%. So well done if you found those ones. Decreasing by 20% is the same as finding 80%, so you should multiply by 0 0.8. That's the answer for that question. Decreasing by 40% is the same as finding 60%, so you can multiply by 0 0.6. Decreasing by 5% is the same as finding 95%, so you can multiply by 0 0.95. Well done if you've done these correctly. All right, in this question, you have $250. You earn interest of 15% at the bank. How much do you have now? So go ahead and try the question. All right, I know this one's a little bit difficult, but if you realize that it was 1.15 for your multiplier, you did really good. And so 250 times 1.15 is equal to, let's see here, 287.5. So if you got that result, that's excellent. Well done. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Remember, mathematics comes easy when you know what you're doing. So the next time you have to do percentages and you have to increase or decrease a number by a certain percent, remember to find the multiplier and that'll make your life super easy. See you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.